Hey guys, I'm Svetlana Solkiak, the author of That Handmade Touch book. And today I'm here to show you how to sew a super adorable, easy to put together foldover pouch. I went ahead and cut out all my pieces and fused interfacing to wrong side of my panels as instructed in the book. I also prepared my button and a leather lace. You can use a ribbon if you prefer. Now for your instructions, you can find them on page 19 in my book, That Hand May Touch. It's fold over pouch. All right, now that all the panels are prepared, it's time to start sewing. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to assemble my exterior panels. So make sure you place top of your directional fabric that we're using for the flap together with your exterior panel. So this way, because it's a fold over pouch, once it folds over, the fabric will be right side up. So here I'm going to place them together and use quarter inch seam allowance to stitch the panels together. Once that's done, going to finger press it right here. You could press it using hot iron if you prefer. And then just stitch along this edge using 1 8 inch seam allowance. Here is the panel and I'll just go ahead and make a second panel. Both of my panels are now assembled and what I'm going to do is add the loop for the button closure to one of my panels. It will be the one that I want to be the front panels for the pouch. So I'll fold it in half like so to mark the middle point and place my loop at the middle point right here like this and then stitch it in place. Just go back and forth a few times to make sure it's secured right here. All right, now it's time to assemble the exterior. So I'm going to place my two exterior panels right sides together and line up all the edges. Now with this one, make sure your vertical lines are lined up as well. And I'm just using sewing clips to hold my layers together. You can use pins if that's what you prefer or you have on hand. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch all the way around the pouch, not into these notches. And I will backstitch at the beginning and at the end. do that and now I'll just go ahead and do the same thing with my lining. So I have my two lining panels right sides together. As you can see this is just one panel for each lining and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing I did for the exterior. The only thing is in the bottom seam right here I will leave about a three inch opening that so we can turn the pouch right side out in a final step.
Okay, now I'm going to take both of my panels to my ironing board and press the seams open. Okay, all my seams are pressed open on both exterior as well as uh, the lining. And now I'm going to close these gussets or boxed corners of the pouch. So what I'm going to do is place one side edge and one bottom edge right on top of each other. Line them up like so. I will use my pin to pin it in place so it doesn't move. And I'm going to line up my second corner like this again. See, so this is what it will look like. The corners are right here. And now I'm just going to stitch right here to close the corners of the pouch using quarter inch seam allowance. And make sure to back stitch at the beginning and end because you don't want your seams to come undone. All right, here is the exterior panel right here. So I'm gonna turn that right side out and uh, push my corners to make them nice and neat. See? So this is what it's going to be like. So here's the exterior panel, and now it's time to do the same thing with the lining. So again, I just place my hand inside, spread out the gusset. Here we go, pin, and do the same thing right here. And stitch. Again, back stitching at the beginning and end. Here is the finished lining, and as you can see, the hole that I noticed, which we will use for turning the pouch right side out. Now we are so close to being finished. All we need to do now is place the exterior right side out into your lining. Lining is wrong side out. So as you can see, the right side of the lining and the right side of exterior are touching. Now line up your side edges or side seams. We wanna make sure that everything is neatly lined up. So here I'm lining up this side seam over the lining side seam and I'm keeping my seams open as this way it will give me a nice neat finish. Push it in neatly and line up the top edge. And again I'm using sewing clips but you can use pins to hold your layers together. One more. All right, what I'm going to do now is just go and stitch all the way around the pouch using quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew over my loop closure so I want to make sure that it's nice and neat that I don't get any puckers here. I back stitch at the end. Right. Just cut off some of my stray threads to make it nice and neat. And now I'm going to turn the pouch right side out through that hole in the lining, like so. Here we go. Like magic. All right. I like to place my hand inside the pouch and neaten everything up from here. So kind of push on the seams from the up, 
inside to make them nice and neat. Pull right here, just gently, not, not too hard. And then I will place the lining again inside the pouch. Now what I'm going to do is here, make my fold on top nice and neat. And the way to do it is you can kind of roll it in between your fingers so it stays, it makes it really crisp. So just go around slowly, take your time and pin or clip this edge so it doesn't move around. As you can see, I keep rolling and moving along my seam. Make it nice and neat. All right, last one. And now this is what the pouch looks like at this point. Now we're gonna go ahead and stitch all the way around the edge of the pouch using 1 8 inch seam allowance. And for that I found out it works well when I turn the pouch right uh, lining side out like so right. I'm gonna start right here and stitch and you want to stitch on your right side so you can see where the stitches are going and make sure they're really neat because those will be the ones that you can see first okay so I'll just keep moving the pouch and stitching stitch at the end trim off straight threads and the top edge is all finished now all we need to do is close this hole in the lining and when you press your seams open you got a nice crease where you can fold it right now and just clip it in place and stitch make sure you don't stitch over your exterior panel And it's time to turn the pouch right side out. Like so. And you fold it over like this. Looking pretty cute, doesn't it? And I would suggest that you go and um, press your pouch press the seams so they are nice and flat, and then go ahead and center the button along your exterior panel and just stitch it in place. And you will be all finished. So here's again, here's our finished pouch. So as you can see, the button is attached here. It opens up nice and neat. You can fill it up some good even. You're good to go. It makes a great makeup pouch or even a pencil pouch, some craft supplies, children's toys. It just has a lot of uses. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, that you'll check out the book from the library and give it a try.